Hello folks, it's me again. Yeah, we're going to have a look at wind turbines or wind power generators. We've got a Vivo kit here which was very kindly donated to the channel by John Kerry. And John Kerry has a wonderful white goods shop, uh, a local to where we live. Anyway, um, let's get on with this. The first thing we're going to need to do is try and wire this up or at least do some preparation work and then find a pole and a suitable length of cable so that we can get the electricity from the top of this pole where the wind turbine will be back into the shed where the batteries are going to be charged. Wiring this kit up isn't too hard really. It's just a case of getting your crimpers out uh, using a bit of self amalgamating tape and that kind of madness to get all of the cables connected together and assuming you've got the correct size pole I was very lucky I had got the correct size pole you can bolt the uh, the head of the mast to the mast and once you've done that you then need to start assembling all of the vanes the wind capture buckets in fact you know what we should probably do we should probably just have a little test and see if it does actually spin around properly i uh, wait for the wind to pick up a touch here speed the movie up and boom there we go uh, yeah this is spinning around it's working so let's get it up in the air and let's do a bit of testing and see whether or not this does what it says on the tin actually trying to trying to get this trying to get my erection up uh, single-handedly was actually quite hard work but uh, we got there in the end <laughs> and as you can see it's spinning around quite nicely on top of that pole there uh well voltage is a little bit low really it's uh, sort of two or three volts uh, well and, and here's the sad news guys it's not gonna get much better than that so anyway um i decided uh let's pull it all down again and let's take it apart so it was quite interesting taking the, the assembly apart uh, because the platen uh, has a, a big old bolt on it that you need to undo with a spanner and then that's all sort of like screwed into a spindle uh, so you've got to get it off the spindle uh, there's various ways and means of doing this you'll see a couple of bolts that I put in the plate there that uh, that we use to um, to prop that spindle up and then it's a case of trying to get the assembly apart getting the assembly apart <laughs> was sort of interesting because they didn't have captive uh, areas for the for the for the for the nuts so it just you had to sort of like push the nut and bolt assembly uh, upwards unless you had a nut runner you'd need a quite a long nut runner to get in there anyway let's stop talking about nut runners and erections and let's get inside this thing and have a bit of a look around so having pulled this all apart again uh, underneath the insulation tape there was a fair lump of it here uh, is a set of diodes. So yeah, we've got three wires coming out of here. Um, we need to figure all of this madness out, don't we? Uh, <laughs> actually, that is hilarious. Just as I did that, I noticed this cable here is all corroded and fell off uh, those diodes. I think that was our problem all along. Okay, it's time to get that soldering iron out and uh, see if we can um, disassemble this, remove the old cable from the housing, insert the new cable to the housing, and then effectively solder new cable onto the little diode array that's sitting there. That I must admit, I'm still sort of scratching my head about six diodes, um, three cables, uh, so there must be 120 degree phases on the coils uh but but yeah anyway um so let's get let's get all of this uh, rewired up and um let's uh, let's reassemble it let's get plenty of insulation tape around it like it was before and then we can start doing a little bit of testing off the pole let's have a look and see how this vivo performs when it's not sitting on top of the pole let's use our fingers to drive the spindle okay so here's something interesting then let me just um turn this on to volts dc uh, so now everything is repaired when we rotate this if we rotate at a sort of consistent speed we can see we get 7 8 9 12 volts out of it which makes absolute sense uh, if we move over to current as soon as we plug it into current and let's just switch to current dc that gets so much more stiff uh, clearly, 
uh, because ultimately what we're doing is we're putting a dead short across the uh, across the output uh, across the coils in here and effectively it's just generating uh, a load of um, back electromagnetic force so all of that said if we manually spin this on the chair we've still got sort of three or four volts and if we have a look at current uh, at short circuit current then uh, again we're really not looking at very much we're seeing probably sort of 50 60 milliamps at the most uh, at sort of these speeds it's not looking promising hey up folks check it out there we go 13.86 volts and we've got a spinny wind turbine thing a little bit of wind and uh, sensible voltages so this is our charge controller because as you remember there was nothing much inside the uh, vivo housing just a bunch of diodes so there wasn't a lot there to really regulate um, how much voltage was going to go into a battery anyway good news things are working so just for grins and just for comparison even on a shady day one small solar panel we've got 23 volts and let's just have a quick look at current and current is 230 milliamps it's just a no-brainer solar panels all day long these things are absolute rubbish Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed the video and it's been useful, please don't forget, give us a good old thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, folks. Cheers and beers. Bye for now.